And now, wrestling fans, let's get back up to the ring for more great all-star wrestling action already in progress. Steve Regal, the light heavyweight champion of the world, and I believe I'm gonna have company here in the person of Jesse the Body Ventura, who is the tag team partner and second for Steve Regal. Hello, Mr. Ventura. Hello, Rod Trondo. Look at my man out there. Look at my man. Light heavyweight champion of the world, Steve Regal. Quick as lightning, quick as lightning. Tremendous partner for you. Regal, out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, he says he's the real fabulous one. He is the real fabulous one. He's better looking than any fabulous ones are. He is the fabulous one. First one to wear suspenders. Craig Carson, 230 pounds from Amarillo, Texas, in with the light heavyweight champion of the world, Steve Regal. Right now, Craig Carson trying to work on the arm of Steve Regal, and Regal reverses that, then uses the elbow smash to the deltoid muscles at the top of the shoulder. And now coming back to our broadcast vantage point is promoter Wally Carbo. Wally? We got Jim Brunzel going to the hospital. And Greg Gagne also gone to the hospital. Greg Gagne has got a bad knee. And uh, Jim Brunzel got an injured stomach. So this is, and the Sheik and Brody have not heard the end of this. Now I'm afraid that both wrestlers, the, the, the serious injuries, I'm afraid they'll be out for some time. You heard it from the promoter Wally Carbo, the that, damage done by Brody and Sheik Adnan L. Casey. That just breaks my heart, Rod Trongard. It couldn't have happened to two better people. I thought you probably might enjoy hearing <laughs> that. I love it. Steve there it is, Regal. the big suplex. Craig Carson being covered, but Rook. Cannot come up with a pinfall just quite yet. He goes to work now with a front face lock. As you can see, Steve Regal, he can rough it up. He can wrestle scientific. He, he has lightning, lightning speed. He's a good, good partner. I thought you were talking about yourself there for a second, Jesse. Steve Regal and Craig Carson. Let's see what we're going to have here. Carson gonna break it? Well, yes, he was willing to, but Regal was not. How about that, Jesse? That's called using your head in the ring. And that's called using the knee lift to the midsection, and Carson pays the price. Again, the boot to the midsection by Steve Regal. Mr. Electricity, as he is called. But now Carson going to work on him. But from behind, the backdrop soup play, and a cover here by Regal, a count of one and two. But Carson kicks his way out. And Regal will have to do something else to control this one. Come right now. What is it? Front face lock here by Steve Regal on Craig Carson. Hold on to it, Steve. Why is so quiet? Carson giving him a pretty good test in there. Referee Marty Miller. You heard earlier Wally Carbo say that the High Flyers have both been taken to the hospital. There the knees of Regal come up and catch Craig Carson flush on the jaw. The Regal, leg drop. Regal setting him up for the Lauderdale leg lock right now. Right now, he's setting him up. He's working over that leg. He's softening it up. The Fort Lauderdale leg lock is going to go on. There it is. That is submission hold stuff. It's all over. It's Steve all Regal. over. My man got him. My man got him. Marty Miller says that's it. That's enough. As Craig Carson has submitted to the man from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Steve Regal, as Jesse the Body Ventura says, his man got him. And indeed, he did. And as we started to say a little bit earlier, Greg Gagne and Jim Brunzel have both been taken to the hospital for injuries suffered earlier here on All Star Wrestling. We'll keep you up to date.